Okay, the install of this uh, blind is going to come about now. I'm going to uh, install the second panel, the right hand this side panel. I've already installed that one uh, and I like the way it, it turned out so I'm going to show you what I did. Basically, it's got this bungee here that goes from front to back. It's uh, right now temporarily hooked but it will be permanently hooked onto this uh, carabiner which happens to uh, work quite nicely on my front light bar. So I hooked that on there. This bungee is going to come all the way to the back and have another carabiner on it and I can hook it either onto the front of the motor handle or the corner of the uh, boat back here. The uh, transom has a handle on it on both sides. So. That's the way it's going to attach to the boat, and of course you know the routine with the uh, T fittings that I sewed into the to the blind. So the webbing I started it down here and came in at an angle, and it hit that first T fitting, and then it straightened out and went across the top of the blind. So I'm going to push that bungee cord down through this webbing, through that pocket, through the T's all the way to the back, and tie out that carabiner back there. Uh, if you've ever pushed a rope, then you'll know what pushing a bungee cord is like. I just push it up in there. And like I said, it's a lot like pushing a rope. Once you get it started, then you got to do a little uh, back and forth pinching and pushing so that uh, you get it all the way to the back. It takes a little while. I did that other side, my hands got all cramped up, so uh, I'm just going to stick with it now. Really all I do is get it started. As long as that material is good and straight, this will go relatively easy up through there. If there was a hard part to this, it's just the tedious part of holding on to it. And now I got to get it started into this T fitting. So okay, now it's started in. I should be able to keep pushing it. I'm kind of turning it a little bit back and forth. And yes, it's already came out of that teeth in. So now I just got to go the full length of it. And you can see it still lays relatively flat in here. But it uh, is going to be held on quite well. So I'm, I'm real pleased with the, the way it turned out. Okay. Bungee cord came through the other end. It took a little while. And I'll tell you a secret I want to pass on is the end of this, if you can, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's kind of a bulbid, uh, bulbous end from where I melted the outer sheath and it kind of peeled back and this spread out. It's a little bit sticky and tacky, but the fact is uh, it spread open on me. Um, if I had to do another one, this is the second one, so I don't need to, but if I had to do it again, I would wrap this in some masking tape or something so that it doesn't snag because I had several times where it got snagged on me and actually it bent over backwards and I was pushing it through like this and uh, that just became a little harder to, to work. But I got it through and uh, so now it's just a matter of uh, taking this big giant carabiner. And I left about four or five inches on each end uh, as, as kind of a tail in case I ever needed to uh, tighten it up or move it or something else I've always got that option so basically I just tie it in a square knot and on bungee cord I don't know if you've ever tied it in a knot before but it's as you stretch it it loosens itself so I pull it really good and tight like that and now I'm going to place two zip ties 
plastic zip ties over this knot and kind of pull it in to hold the tail up against that knot so that as it tightens I don't know if you'll see that or not but as I tighten that now it's it's holding that tail piece in there where it's not going to pull back through and untighten uh, unloosen that knot all right so that's what I end up with is just a, a knot being held tight with a zip tie and then another zip tie that's going to hold this tail piece in and then I'll tuck the other end of it back up in that sheath that was uh, created there Now you can get a feel for what it's going to look like, how it's going to function. Front end is going to be completely wrapped and uh, covered up. And as you can see there, I uh, still got that split down the middle. Okay, here's what I'm doing with this. I heat this nail up, get this glowing red on the tip of this nail. This material is kind of a, I guess a nylon something. It melts relatively easy. Okay, it's red hot. And I simply just, about an inch in, make a hole. Like that. And let it cool. It kind of melted the edge. It just melted its way through. And as it uh, cools down, the edge of that's going to harden. It almost makes a little crusty edge on it. And now, the purpose of that is to pull the blind down where I want it. put a zip tie through that hole. If I had some grommet eyes like for a tarp I would most likely use that but I don't. So I'm going to try it like this and see what I get. What I'm going for. Get it where I need it. I want it. Basically, that's it. The end of this material is hemmed over. It's got the webbing on the inside, so I don't think there's enough pull in the bungee. Uh, just enough to put resistance against that. But basically what that does is it's going to keep the material down here and keep it from creeping up. Which would expose me if I'm sitting back here in the back. So, basically that's my uh, idea of holding that in place. And I think it's going to work. Okay, the last thing I bought, or the most recent thing I bought anyway, are some snaps. These are like snaps that you would have on a button, a snap shirt, cowboy shirts have them. Um, different uh, things you can use them on upholstery, uh, seat covers and stuff sometimes have snaps. But what I'm uh, going to do with these is uh and i've never used these before this is the first time for me using these so i bought a package that has a bunch of pieces in it um or a bunch of snaps i think there's a combination here that four different pieces make up 20 snaps and the four different pieces of course you buy this stuff on amazon it comes from china and it does not show 
any instructions on how to use it. Although it does come with a little die. Here's a little die that the button side of this lays down in there. And then one of these other pieces, I don't know yet which one, one of these other pieces with a hole in it gets driven down over the top of it. So I'm going to have to go online and do a little research uh, to see how these work. Ooh, I bet that's it right there. Of course, the material is going to be in between that so that the button is uh, ends up on the outside. Um, that's awfully loose in there. But it comes with the die and then it comes with uh, a couple of different punches, set punches. One of them looks for like a, an inside male and the other one looks like an outside female punch that kind of mushrooms over the head. And this other tool looks like it's a, a hole puncher. So I'll take a quick look at that. Yeah, it's a hole punch. So once I know where I want my snaps to be, two pieces go mount to the boat and two pieces sandwich the camo material between them and then I can snap this outer edge and if it's wind blowing or anything like that it will hold it up and keep it out of the water for one even though it's waterproof I don't want it down in the water so anyway that's uh, that's my next thing is figure out where to put them and how to put them in welcome back if that machine looks a little different, it's because it is. I uh, somehow got into a, a position on the old ma other machine that uh, it just didn't work anymore. Uh, it's got an issue and I, I didn't want to wait. And you know what? For the money, I needed a heavy duty machine, so I went and bought one. And I just did a major milestone, at least for me. I don't know if we'll be able to make this out or not, but if you can see right there, I went from a straight stitch to my first little zigzag. Come on, give me a thumbs up down there just for that. So anyway, I ended up breaking the other machine. I'm going to get it fixed, but uh, in the meantime, I needed to finish this, so uh, I went and bought a new one. And uh, this is a heavy duty singer. I believe the model number, oh, uh, it's a 4423, I think. So anyway, enjoy this la uh, sewing with John lesson. And I'll be okay something else I did is I created these these velcro tabs I bought some uh, velcro blanks um, hook and loop material two inch wide same as the width of this strap and uh, I sewed it to the strap it's a sticky back but then I sewed it to the strap and that gives a good hard uh, bond and then I did a zigzag double stitch uh, around the perimeter of this strap and of course the hook half is going to be on this side of the blind and the the soft part of the velcro is going to get sewn to the other half of the blind around um, the new machine is, it's a lot smoother than the old machine uh, that might be because the old machine was had age on it I'm told that it do, did have a zigzag stitch to it, but I never used it. I didn't explore it that far. So, And I found some bronze colored snaps and I installed them on here. And uh, real simple, locate and drill a uh, punch through the fabric into the base metal. Run a screw uh, or a pilot drill into the uh, aluminum there and then uh, ran those screws in comes with a little die and tap uh, a die and punch set and you just pop those on there alrighty we did it we finished this boat blind for the most part it's done um, I got all my uh, straps sewed on on the sides for all my uh, extra cover if we need it um, got my velcro put in up here Holding these two together, I think you can maybe see the outline of the uh, soft pad I sewed inside this one. Um, but there it is. 
snaps are on. I'm not real impressed with these snaps. Uh, I put them on and the second time I pulled them off, the this part here and the backing piece on it, the clamshell part, uh, came apart. So this came off, that part stayed on the stud and I'm not real happy with that. This, these are ones I bought on eBay. They're made of brass. If they were steel, they'd probably hold better. Um, you know, the crimp would stay better, but uh, anyway. Uh, we're going to call the boat blind done. And once I use it, I'll probably figure out something that says uh, I need to make some changes. But for now, I'm happy. Tilly's happy. Fire's keeping us warm out here. It's about uh, 14 degrees outside and let's see. 60? Almost 60 degrees in here. So, got a new project for sewing coming up. Stay tuned.